Hello. <laughs> Look at Whitney. Welcome to my baby stream. <laughs> it is I, Ellie. You know, aka Keep New. What you guys doing? Um, hello. Dank Lamb is here, so we can start stream. That's all I'm saying. We got G Willad. What's up? What's up? Streaking Bison. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes. This is my self-proclaimed birthday week. <laughs> so um, I decided that I wanted to just relax and have fun. So we're streaming. Um, today we're going to be building the illustrious, innovative Saturn 60. <laughs> and um, I got it in on Thursday last week. Uh, but I've been waiting. F I decided to save it. We're gonna try a little daytime streamy stream. I don't usually stream in the daytime. So, see if we can hit a different audience. And also, it frees up my evening because typically I stream Monday nights. So, what we're gonna do is if, um, depending on how long this takes me to finish, um, we'll either continue the stream into the evening or um, I'll stop streaming, eat dinner, and then come back because we'll be doing um, another stream tonight with Dee Dee. Uh, I'm gonna be unveiling my keycap set that I've been working on for a long, for a while now. It's not like the full reveal, but we're gonna be doing the kidding for it because I thought it was really important to. Um, I find like there's not a ton of resources on kidding. You basically just have to like know a person. <laughs> And so I decided as part of like me creating my set, I wanted to share that information with you guys. So there's that. Uh, Briz says, can we get a pizza rat command? Yes. Yes, we can, Briz. Can you message me that uh, in Discord? And then I'll add that. So tomorrow I will um, be working on adding all of the commands that I've been uh, slacking on. So I have the date tomorrow dedicated for that. <laughs> Panda. I know, right? I've been working on a keycap set. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, there's only like a couple of the OGs who know what it's about. But I'll give you a hint. Pizza. <laughs> That's all you need to know. <laughs> Alright, so let me get the thing. Oh, Iowa New asks... Oh, Iowa New is here. Cutie. We got to talk last night. Charles Entertainment Cheese. <laughs> it's, it's, I would say, so my whole like thing, well, oh, we'll talk about it tonight. You guys are trying to give me all the leak, the leaks right now. <laughs> um, oh, thank you for following Weird Mayo. Thank you so much for viewing my baby stream. We're going to be building the Saturn 60 today. So let me get that box. <clears throat> so look at this baby. Okay, this board's pretty hefty. And something too I wanted um, to do today is compare it to the Space Trash 60 that I built um, in December, the cardboard version. I wanna see how close I got to the original design. Ugh. Oh, thank you for following. Lala Bob, what's up? I got my Saturn 60 in the mail. So, if you don't know, this is designed by Burgess Latro from Ace Keyboard Co. Um, he's a homie. Oh, this is kind of cool. And um, I helped him uh, with the firmware for the Titan 60, which is the PCB that comes with it. So that's why I got mine a little early with the one of the prototype PCBs. Also, thank you for following Bentoso. What's up? So, so the box when you open it says Opus Non Ex Orbis, which I don't know what that means. Quapa, what's up? Almost joined this group by. Yeah, I don't even remember when this buy ran, honestly. I don't really pay attention too hard to that stuff. But it has like a pack with all of the goodies. 
Let me adjust this. Bring it down. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, so I know some of the plates got serial numbers that we could, we could pick our serial number. So I picked 0143. If you know what that uh, key code, what that pager code is. Hello, Sultan of Sleep. How's it going? I'm good. Just we're streaming in the daytime. We don't usually do this. Um, but what else is in here? So there's the handle for the back of the case. I chose the all black. My my case is all black. So oh, these are the um, the LED strips for either side of the case. I thought these were really nice because they're coated in like this um, plastic material. Um, you basically just clip off like the plastic here and then you have the pads are exposed so we can wire that up to the PCB. Um, we got hardware, bump ons, what is this? Oh, so it comes with wires too. You can see the end of it. There's three. I think three wires in there. So this is why I started early today is because I think the wiring is going to take me a while because I'm not very good at it. <laughs> um, we also have this cable. So th this will attach to the case and then this end will plug into the PCB I believe. Opus non ex orbis. The work is no more of the world. Oh wow. <gasps> Trade splatter. Bro the, the electricity wizard. Thank you for subscribing to my baby stream, bro. I appreciate you. <laughs> Trade Splatter has been helping me learn how to design PCBs, so... I'm about to become all-powerful, you guys. It's gonna happen. Okay, let me put all this in here. Oh, thank you for following my boys! What's up? Oh, I also forgot on the back side of this, so this is the, front, the badge for the back. There's this one. So this will be on the front of the case. Oh, thank you for following Spike Synapse. Danny, what's up, girl? How are you doing? We got this keyboard today we're building. Okay, so I chose two plates for mine. So this is the um, the black anodized utilitarian plate. So you'll notice. Um, the utilitarian layout has like an arrow cluster on this side, even though it's a 60%. Some people think this is cursed, but I am a, I need my arrows. I'm still keep noob, you guys. I need arrows. <laughs> so this is one option. I got two, I got two plates. So this is number one. Um, we got some PCBs here. So this is the production sample of the Titan 60 PCB. So it'll look just like this. Um, it's purple. It's really pretty actually. It's kind of like a, it's not like super blue. It's, it's more like magenta almost. Um, so this is the production one. This will come with your thing. If this is the one you ordered. <laughs> Um, I got this one early because I don't care about backlighting, but yeah, if I hadn't gotten this, I do have some of the prototype PCBs I could have used, or at least one of them. There's two of them that have issues, previous versions, but this is the one we'll be using today. So this is the boardwalk PCB. When did I get the diamond? Girl, you're always VIP, fool. You're blessed. <laughs> um yeah the solder mask with the yeah with the gold pads looks pretty nice i love when the solder mask is like different colors i really want a pink one i know um uh, kool-aid papa has the pink pcb that i'm getting with the designer three so this is the boardwalk pcb so this is the ortho layout well i guess it's like ergo kind of i don't know how to explain it so we'll be using this today. Um, I wanted to try out something different. Okay, and then in here is the big dude. I think I'm gonna move the box to the side. Pull it out. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, ortho layout with ergo mods is how I've heard it described. Okay, that makes sense. Because, yeah, the ergo mods would be, like, on the edges, right? Alright. So, let's take this foam off. Oh, it's kind of heavy. <laughs> Spike synapse. So glad, sad I missed this group by. Yeah, I know he'll have a, cu a couple extras, so just keep your eyes out on Burgess's um, Discord. If you need that link, I think you, you go to acekeyboard.co. Ace Just Google that and you should be able to get a link to the Discord. So I chose the all black Saturn 60. Um, this is the back. So the handle will go here. The USB cutout is here. There's nothing on the bottom. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go grab the Space Trash 60 because I wanna see how close I got. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> if you don't remember, in December uh, last year, I made this. <laughs> so, wait a minute. This is one of the prototype PCBs. <laughs> Um, this is a prototype plate that I got from Burgess, and I built this on stream during the charity Christmas stream. So, we also invented the, uh, hot glue diffuser at that time. But, if we take a look at these, let me move my keyboard up. I got pretty dang close, I'm not gonna lie. Width-wise, it's exactly the same. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Look at this. It's... Right? Which one is the real one? It's a little bit deeper on this one. Height is about the same. I don't know if you can see... I got the height pretty much spot on. So Burgess sent me like a schematic of the, um, the space of like what, what this was going to be. So I used those measurements to make this, but honestly, I'm pretty impressed by myself. <laughs> the main difference though, is that I just cut a freaking hole in the back for the USB cable. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we got the premium cardboard. This is gaming cardboard. I got this from a gaming monitor. You can see uh, inside. It says like Asus Tough inside of it. You can see the like, see we got branded cardboard, baby. Asus. <laughs> so, I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh-oh. One of the, the cable broke off. Oh, well, I'll fix that later. But at least I have kind of like a general idea of uh, how to, at least what, the, what it looks like. But So how do I get this out? So it came with an Allen wrench. I'm gonna use my toolkit. Uh, white, white and mint. Planning on putting in cat layout. Oh, nice. Yeah, I really that I I struggled really hard deciding on what colors I wanted to get. I ended up just going all black, which is at, I kind of regret not getting the mint because it's really pretty. Like I saw it on his um his Instagram. But what ifs? I'm just trying to find the bit that will fit this mace. I think that will work. All right, so let me set this up here. <laughs> uh, I'm looking, okay, here we go. Plus that mint looks like old surplus military gear. Yeah, I definitely agree. It looks really cool. I, I My other I thought was to do like a white bottom with the black top, but um, again, indecision it got the better of me <laughs> so let's take this apart i 
How's your guys Monday doing? Tiggy's insane. <laughs> I haven't, um, I think I saw Mentally was building one the other day, I think. Where is my little tree? Oh, I can use this. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not really looking at any, uh, buying any keyboards right now. I have a couple that I'm just waiting on, you know. Um, I think the, the one I'll get soonest is probably the Stierka. But that's not for another few months. That thing is expanse, but she cute. 808 boom, our essay recall would look. Yeah, I was gonna put, um, I think, essay recall on here. It was like my ultimate plan. Um, I also picked up Cam Wrath to go with the boardwalk style plate. Um, so I think that'll look really good too. Today, the keycaps I have available that I think might have the, uh, I think might have the right compatibility. We got DSA Ostro low keys, which at the end of the day, I think it's appropriate. Like, I think, um, Ostro low keys works. All right. So I think this just lifts up. So there's a little bit of like a lip in the front, which hooks onto the bottom part of, or the front part of the bottom half of the case. And then we got the plate. There's also foam here in the bottom. Whoa. Okay, wait. This foam feels like jello or like pudding. It's like hefty too. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but it's like really thick and it feels like pudding. <laughs> uh, let's see, I can imagine this will be pingy as heck. Yeah, I think that was the main reason for this foam. Um, since the case is pretty empty. I do know that people have been um, removing the foam though, like uh, for, to put like different components inside. Which is kind of cool. I saw somebody, uh, they, they made theirs Bluetooth, which is really interesting. Um, another person also did, or there, I know there's a couple of people planning on doing the, uh, what are those called? Solenoids. <laughs> so it sounds like really intense. That's thick with like five C's. Yeah. <laughs> I think hooking up a solenoid would be really cool. I, I'm interested in how to do that. And then I believe this is the boardwalk plate. If it's not, we gotta call Burgess. <laughs> Clickies for this build. Um, I had planned on using Gat Yellows for this particular one. Okay, this is sick. Okay, this is the zinc, the yellow zinc finish. Look at that. Has some cool like color variations. Wow, this is nice. In person, it's the color shift is real. Yeah, this came out super nice. Wow. Perfect work board with some clickies. Yeah. <laughs> I think one of the things too is like, even though this board is chonk, it's not as chonk as people think. I, I think like, like this is the Baka 60 in comparison. So it is wider like because of the bezel the bevels but like thickness wise i don't know i just don't feel like it's like the most giant of all time like people could expect but like i could i would not feel uncomfortable taking this to work like i don't think it's that large that it would feel out of place at work uh someone discord selling pcb you just have to get your own solenoid and stick it in the case okay yeah i have to check that out in the discord yeah, the handle makes it easier for work too. <laughs> you can have your little briefcase. <laughs> All right, so first things first, uh, let's test the PCB. 
I just realized I don't I don't know if this is flashed or not, but we'll find out. Um yep. Okay, let me get the board. Hey, I can't spell. Let me pull up the window. I think it's this one. There we go. Let me check these. I've never used the, the boardwalk layout before, so I'm excited. Uh -oh. Maybe I need a flash it. Or did I not plug it in? Let me try resetting. see does this work with via um the titan 60 does uh the boardwalk i think so i might need to flash with the boardwalk should be pre-flashed with via okay let me try so i'm not seeing I would think there would be like a power indicator light, but I don't know. We gonna find out. <laughs> Investigation time. Okay, it's not seeing it in via, but let me try flash it with the via key map and then we'll go from there. Uh, what was it called? Boardwalk? Okay, let's load this up. This is, uh, yeah, at Mega 32U4, which are like, <laughs> apparently they are, um, <laughs> like gold right now <laughs> because of the chip shortage okay let me try there we go okay we are flashed where did it say that on the board oh it says um if you look at the chip itself, uh, let me see if I can zoom this in. Like on the chip, you can see the printing of like what type of chip it is. It's pretty hard to read sometimes, but you can see it. Generally, 32U4 is really common in the keyboard hobby. Um, but yeah, you just gotta just check it. Because I've, I've encountered a couple boards that had, um, different, were using different chips, so. Okay, let's pull up the Via. Okay. There you go. Key tester, I think there's a test matrix. Oh, I'm on the wrong board. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So yeah, it's always a good idea to test your PCB before you solder that mess. Same. Also with Pro Micros, I generally try to flash them before I build or solder anything. Just because that way you know for sure like the Pro Micro is working. So that takes one. You're not having to guess when you're debugging. 
You not turn on sounds so you don't have to keep looking up. You're smart. I've never, I didn't even know that was a thing. <gasps> wow. I like this. It's like piano time. We should like hook this up to some other sounds. Like you can play a song. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> we got those beats. <laughs> This one is all weird. <laughs> this one is a weird position too. <gasps> you shouldn't have taught me about this sounds thing. <laughs> put music on and just play this. <laughs> well, the matrix is working. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've created a monster. This is your fault void today. <laughs> okay. Um, next we will... Uh... Do some stabs. Okay. Opinions. Do you guys like to use stabs with two U keys? Because I've heard multiple things. This. I'm going to put this to the side for now. To use passable without stabs? No, never. Yes, absolutely. Dang it! There's too many opinions. Because <laughs> I've only ever used... Um, I've only ever used to you with a stab. How lazy do I want to be? I think the other part is... So the switches I'm using are Gat Yellows. Um, I loop them with 205 grade zero. Answer here is to do 50-50 on this board. Every other two you gets. <laughs> well, I think the only ones I was going to do stabs for was the, um, uh, the two space bar keys. Will work best on tight stems. Oh, okay. Oh, so like if the stem of the switch is like really tight, then, um, oh, okay. That's good to know. I don't know what the answer is. Is it possible? Because I just don't want to deal with like... Yeah. <laughs> Nobody needs to know. <laughs> okay, well it's only two stabs so I think I'll do it just because... We're trying... I don't know. It's. I feel like space bars could use them. Other keys, other two U keys, probably nah. The question is, what stabs do I have? Uh, let's use these. As long as you don't go single space, you won't be too judged. <laughs> right? Yeah, I find. Like when it comes to boards where like I know I'm gonna be using layers, I definitely want to, I definitely like to do um, split space. Just because I like to use the left split 
space bar as like my um my layer key um let me see oh also for homies who are stream queens if you want to join me on stream feel free to hop in stream queens or if you're in my discord and want to chat um i can pull you and just me message me okay so we're gonna do these one two okay yeah all four of these we don't need this wire i think i'm gonna do bdz for the wires and i'm gonna do 205 for the stems oh thank you for following marv fpv what's up how are you doing thanks for following my baby stream <laughs> i don't usually stream in the daytime so this is interesting <laughs> try to hop in 20 when i'm off work okay yeah i figure i'm gonna be here for a while so feel free to jump in let me use <laughs> The rainbow is the tame one. You still haven't seen like the spam of like channel points redemptions. <laughs> All right, so let us do these. Um, where's my BDC's brush? I feel like sometimes I have to like mix up my lube. I don't know if you've ever had lube like separate. Also, um, Rubber Duckies made me this cute little palette for um, lubing uh, switches, which has been super fun to use. I used it last night to lube my switches. <laughs> Carlton can't be broken. <laughs> well, I fixed him. Uh, I don't know if he's still broken or not. Like, if you spam it, if he'll break. <laughs> but use your trim. Do what you think is right. <laughs> see, see if you can break it. I know you want to. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, I found that like if your springs are not super heavy, BDZ on the inside of the housing is not a good idea. <laughs> hey, we got Santa. <laughs> Panda's determined to break my bot. I've learned the little metal scoop looking spudgers are great to pull lube out. Oh, might have one in the iFixit brand toolkit. I'll have to check that out. Is that supposed to be duck webbed feet? Oh, on this? I think it's just like an artist palette. You just hold it like this and then it has like three different areas. <laughs> That's a good idea though. He could uh, do his little ducky branding. That would be cute. I told him he should print them and sell them because they're really handy. Wait. <laughs> the redeems that don't matter anywhere. Oh! Someone redeemed Winnie makes an appearance. Oh no, I left my key. <laughs> I left that up. <laughs> uh, I don't have caps on it, but I can switch. My problem is I don't know what the keys are. Winnie, you've been summoned, fool. Okay, right, let me get the Revion. I'll just put it on top of here because I don't have the Pro Micro. <laughs> I don't have the Pro Micro, uh... The micro USB cable right now. And let me get Wendy. Come here, Bean. Come here. They want to say hi. 
Come say hello. Oh, come say hello. <laughs> All right, here we go. Say hi, Voidy Dave. Say hello. <laughs> She's so grumpy. She's sleeping. <laughs> Say hi, Iwanu. <laughs> so she has permanent grumpy face, like, at all times. And she is, like, real sleepy, huh? So this is my baby. She's cute. Okay, you go back. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put you back. There you go. <laughs> She's so funny. It's funny because she likes to like, she started doing this thing where she, I have like a foot rest thing underneath my um, desk and she likes to sit on the rest and then she'll just like get there like secretly and then she'll meow at me out of nowhere and I'm like, where are you? <laughs> Hey, Janelle Bean, artist extraordinaire. She's here. She's out here. Yeah, I'm excited to try this layout too. One of my first boards I built, well actually both of my first boards that I built were at Ortho. Um, the plaid and the uh, Ergo 42. Those are both ortho boards. No! I just always forget which side goes this way. Yeah. Luckily there's only two stabs on this board, so I'm here for that. <laughs> me zoom zoom a little and we'll go like that I love my wife she just went and got us matcha chillers oh nice but you who loves their wife gross <laughs> I even love my kids usually disgusting. <laughs> sleeping jealous oh yeah she's on the night shift right but you've moved to like a more of a nine to five schedule oops i used to love working like overnight shifts i used to work at a pier one and we'd stock like all of the We'd unload like the trucks and stuff and stock everything and it was like seriously one of my favorite jobs of all time because <laughs> you don't have to talk to anybody and you get to open boxes like who doesn't want to do that Boxes and bubble wrap, it's the dream. It really is. It's so fun. 
promotions or the yeah. <clears throat> Gotta get that money, girl. Okay, we got the BDZ lube, aka the toothpaste. This stuff is like crazy thickness. If you're gonna use um, BDZ loop, I recommend you have a separate brush from your other lube brushes and just dedicate it to that because it's very, it's a whole other consistency from the other loops. And it's a lot more difficult to wash off. Ooh, we got cat hair. <laughs> I've done some night and morning brushes, definitely more fun. To, yeah. How many loop brushes is the right number? So I'm kind of a weirdo. I have three brushes. I would say two is probably sufficient. But I have one for the BDZ, one for like all the other loops, and then I have one that I like to use just on stems. If I'm not um if I'm not going to like bag or tub loop the stems because it's like really tiny I have seven <laughs> I mean whatever works for you it doesn't matter that's what I got so that's what I'm gonna use did I do this the right direction my issue with stabs is I always put them the wrong direction. Like, you know how there's like the side that has two holes and then there's the side that has one hole? I put them the wrong direction. I got a set of nine, I think, but I only use one so far. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, you just gotta try them out. It's hard to know what sides you need. But yeah, the two two of the three that I have I got from um, D uh, Davis has a lube kit on our website, 3dkeeps.com, <laughs> who is our sponsor. So I picked up one of those kits and um, yeah, it works. It works pretty good. Like one of the brushes is kind of like the perfect size for the rails of a switch, which is what I use it for. end up messing these up okay I think we're good and then next one I kind of like a daytime stream. I feel more awake, but also I didn't have to work, so <laughs> there's that. Okay. <clears throat> 
I think we are done. Just double check this. It works. Okay, let's clean off our brush. Oh, hello! Wow! Thank you for rating. Smiling down. What's up? How are you doing? Thanks for rating my baby stream. Smiling. How do you spell? Wow, thank you. Were you streaming uh, keyboard stuff today? Thank you for following too. Um, we got, who we got, who we got? Kuso <laughs> <Kusel> Panda. <laughs> There's another panda. What's up? Um, we got also uh, Shibiku. Thank you for following. Loop switches all day? Oh, nice. That was me yesterday. I was looping switches. <laughs> the struggle is real. I don't know if you enjoy uh, enjoy looping switches. It's not my favorite activity, but I will do it because it's worth it. <laughs> All right. So we just finished looping stab. So we're gonna put it in this piece of E. I need to figure out which switch is which because there are a lot of holes on this PCB. <laughs> Um, let's see. It's keyboard. Yeah, so today I'm building the Saturn 60. Um, if you're not familiar with that uh, board, you can check it out on Ace Keyboard Co. Um, she thick, and I like it. <laughs> but I'm building it with the boardwalk lay boardwalk layout, so um, I'm not super used to this style, but. We'll figure out where this bottom row lines up because it would be, I'm guessing it would be the left. Maybe I should pull out some keycaps or switches. Um, here. Oh, I could put my loop stuff away. So hype for this board. Oh, did you, um, did you get in on the group buy? Oh, hey girl, Jedi Junior, what's up girl? How you doing? Oh, nice, yeah, it's um, so I've been helping Burgess with the firmware for the Saturn, so, um, I don't know if like I got it early or whatever, but, um, yeah, I'm excited for this build. I just need to figure out where the freaking switches go. <laughs> I got the moon dust one with the brass handle. Oh, nice. Yeah, I got the all black. So. Okay, so I'm guessing. This would be one. Two. Uh, which plate am I using? I'm using uh, this one. So this is the boardwalk, uh, the yellow zinc plate. I also picked up the um, the all black uh, utilitarian plate, so I'll do another build of that uh, later. I still don't know what switches I want to put in that, but um, I wanted to try out the the boardwalk style today. But I don't know, I'm having a hard time figuring out which switch holes it goes in. Oh, Past is here. Hey, Past. Uh, let me go get Her Majesty. She's currently knocked out on the bed, but she always wants to say hi to her people. You want to chat while you build? Yeah, Brez, um, if you hop in gamers only, yeah, let me pull you in. What up? What up? <laughs> hey, Winnie ran away since last appearance. <laughs> she, um, she's still here. She's just back to sleeping. Hold on one second. Let me grab her. Come here, Bean. Your friend is here. Pass. Oh. Come say hi. Your friends want to say hello to you. 
It's her royal pudginess. Hey, you don't be mean to Winnie. She's I'm not being mean. This was an asset. Look at that. <laughs> oh, hello. Thank you for following. 20VAE86. What's up? <laughs> a day with Winnie's never a bad day. She's a cutie. She's a patootie, huh? My little grumpy girl. Aw, oh, girl, don't kick me. <gasps> I touched the I touched the belly. It was a trap. No, I won't touch it. No, I won't touch it. Okay, I'm not touching it. You're fine. It's like that's off limits. <laughs> yeah, it's it's only a trap. Like sometimes, most of the time she's okay, but she's a little riled up right now. Don't kick me. She has emotion. She does have emotions. She has many emotions. <laughs> Here. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's mad. <laughs> Alright. Well, hello. Welcome. <laughs> I need to make, like, some Winnie, like, emotes. Like, Kind of like how Yura has bunny ones. I want. I think I need to make windy ones. So I was trying to think of like making more emotes, but I don't know how I would do that. Oh, thank you for following FE39. What's up? I'm trying to figure out how to use this board. Okay, so there's one, two, three. Align with ZXCV. Okay, yeah, that's what I was taking a look. I think I'm getting close. That's, that's genius. A lot, that's a lot of stab options. I know. Row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bottom row is confusing. That's why I'm having to line it up. And I'm not f super familiar with this layout either, so. And you're doing split space? Yeah, I'm going to do split space the 2U. Split space. Okay, so I think a stab goes here. So it would be what? Not there. It's like I'm guessing here. Is my guess? Because there's another option where like. Oh, this is confusing. Uh, the bottom row. Let me show. You. I'll pull it up on the screen so um, I'm using uh, this option so are those two you spaces though? yeah they're two they're two you spaces um so you got your four do you got caps with you yeah, let me. I would just put caps on and then see how it lines up. Yeah, that's a good idea. That may be easier than trying to. Kind My of eyeballs guess. are not good. <laughs> the D in boardwalk text, there is the center of the two columns. Oh, okay. So this would be the middle. That tracks. Okay, let me. I have also my keycap ruler. I'm like not good at eyeballing like these sizes. So this is a two year, I believe. I've I've definitely soldered like multiple plates and then put them in the board and be like, damn it, this is wrong. <laughs> that's like that's why I'm like trying to take my time. Oh yeah, so yeah. this is um a keycap ruler I got from a uh, Space Cat Design. I don't think they have them in stock anymore, but it's come in super handy because you can, um, one of the measurements on here is for use. So like, yeah, nice. so like this one, that's a 2U uh, keycap. It's pretty lit. It's come in super handy. I kind of want to make my own. Like I also want to put like different tips on it because like there's certain things like you should know for like soldering stuff like um like for like through holes yeah. like the left uh you know like stuff like uh 
like the long the for diodes right like the line or whatever should go to the square hole or for leds the long leg should go to the circle hole kind of stuff makes sense okay let's try these oh also do you like my customized uh, <laughs> keycap holder <laughs> It's custom. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, I think here. Right? Let's try this out. Yeah, probably that one, I think. I don't have a big one, but I have a couple of keychains that measure up to two U. Oh yeah, that would be super handy. Even just two U is handy. So this is for sure a 1.25. Do you behave over there? No, no trying to eat the fish. I've got a couple of those 1U keyboards from Keyhab. Oh, okay. Are those called like the Uno or something like that? Amoeba? Those little PCBs? Wasn't Keyhive the one who made the the milk too? Um, I, th I know he carried it. I don't think he made it. I think it was like space oh. something designs. And Keyhive just sold them. Yeah, you. Cause, I think I got mine. Because I think it's open source. Um, that makes sense. Okay, I think that's right. I'm paranoid. I'm gonna put the more keys on here. <laughs> Oh no, that's the one I love as student. Oh yeah, I love projects like that, like the Wazowski or like any kind yeah. of stupid stuff. I love it. Wait, is that the right one? Oh, my stab! We got it. We got some dust too. Great. Are these 1.5 or 1.25 mods on this board? I think it's 1.25 check with our ruler i really bad oh wait is it 1.5 i think it's oh it's 1.5 okay okay i feel like one of these is off I feel like some of these are close. Were yeah. they kind of hitting? Kind of <clears throat> on this side. Are they seated straight up and down? Probably not. <laughs> like just not leaning a little bit. Yeah, I think it's probably just leaning. But I think that is the right. Spot. I mean, it looks right. So now you should be able to tell what those two views on where the stabs go, though. Yeah, so. Let's take the cap off. Come here! Hey, <laughs> power fingies! Okay, so. That means it would be these holes. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. That's right. They can't. I've never seen that. <laughs> Alright. Let's. Yeah. Gotta use the power. Come on. Ugh. There you go. What are you up to today, Bryce? Um, not much. Did some emails, applied for some more jobs, ate what? some food. Chili. Gonna make, gonna make some burgers for dinner here soon. Oh, nice. Played some Overwatch. Oh, lit. I a feel little like bit of a degenerate I, today. <laughs> I feel like I'm still not very good at that game, but I enjoy it. Yeah, it just takes a while to learn all the characters. But. 
poke myself. With it's the like switch game. leg. Just take it for a little bit. Let's see. Oh yeah, I remember Danny, you built that absinthe from Keyhive. I remember watching that. Those KS3s modded. Heck yeah. Gnarly Charlie. <laughs> I lived in films of him. I left the stock springs though because I tried out the progressive springs on them and I was not feeling that life. Mm. What switches are these? Uh, these are Gat Yellows. Where do I put my screwdrivers? This is my problem with streaming is I just like throw things around while because I'm like I'm busy. I just do that in general. And then I get to look around <laughs> and be like, where did I put that screw? Yeah. Over? I'm like, where did I or put like, it? like when you get up to grab something and then you leave it where you grab that thing exactly. from. Exactly. Oh, I do that all the time. <sighs> you guys. What do you look for? My screwdrivers. Where did I put mm. it? Is it inside the cardboard 60? No. <laughs> There's a PCB in there. <laughs> oh, it's underneath these keycaps. Duh. Special. Uh, pro tip, when you finally find a thing, don't put it back where you found it. Put it where you first look. For wow. I feel like that's really deep. <laughs> <laughs> this could be like a life lesson. Mm. I feel like knowing my luck though, the next time I would look somewhere different. For it this, could, this could be a life lesson we're learning right now from Gnarly Charlie. <laughs> okay, you let's just, get... You just need a tool wall, L, where everything has a labeled spot. <gasps> yes, I can be organization. We had those at work and it was insane. There was like cutouts where everything had to go. Okay, that's really cute though. I want, I would love that. So everybody How can I make this happen? If you didn't put, if you didn't put it back. Yeah, I like. <laughs> there's a big old hole in the wall. Yeah. You'd be like, who took the wrench? <laughs> You're like, it wasn't me. <laughs> Janelle. <laughs> All I'm saying is, it got real deep there for a second. <laughs> Um, yeah, later tonight, Dee Dee's gonna come on stream, and we're gonna work on some key editing, but I might take a break between then. I don't know. Should take a break and get, get some food. Yeah, it depends how long this takes me. Okay. Dee Dee, the master of kidding. Really, though? I'm just like, I trust everything you suggest. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Uh, I asked him about 40s one day and he told me and then I was like, alright, I need to screenshot what he said because there's no way I'm going to remember this. Yeah. I'm just glad there are people out there who enjoy it, knowing all that stuff. <laughs> or maybe they don't enjoy it, but they learned it through necessity. <laughs> yeah. So that I can benefit. I love that the emoji is just over there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes they get stuck and it's like they just sits there for a while. I noticed that too. Didn't one of the dancing ones do that one day? Oh, uh, those ones, they break sometimes. If, it if people like redeem it too much. Dance. Yeah, it was just like continuously going for like 10 minutes straight. Yeah, I have to like turn it off manually. <laughs> Here we go. I love how as soon as we say that somebody redeemed the Carlton dance. <laughs> and alright. That's like, I feel like that happens a lot. There's some, there's some uh, commands though that don't require channel points. I need to make a list of those. We got, uh, what do we got? Snow. Rainbow. Um, <laughs> forget which other ones we have, but there's some commands. I, I've been trying to work on my like about me section 
because it was literally blank until like two days ago. <laughs> so I'm trying to make it a little more user friendly. <laughs> it's like you can never know anything about Keep Noob. It's all a mystery. Tumbleweed needs my fave that I can't redeem. Okay, so there I'll be unlocking Tumbleweenie soon. Um, cause Garbo asks for it to be unlocked for everyone, and then there's another uh, command he wants so that I've been working on. So hopefully I'll have that all set up um, tomorrow for everybody. There's a couple of different commands I'm working on. <laughs> I'm reading through Squid Chat and uh, Max on Deck Discord because somebody mm -hmm. asked about the the Orbo version of the Baka. Oh, the Debaka bean. No, the of the squid that Didi made. Oh yeah, yeah, the um, Plexus seventy five. Yes, and he wasn't there to answer, so they proceeded to tag him like a dozen times. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I dropped the screw. No! Oh, yeah, it landed up on the thing. We're blessed. <laughs> you, you got the lucky there. Yeah. The, the worst are the sp when you drop the springs. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I it get... No matter, no matter what, just blend into everything. Yeah. <laughs> I usually get my phone and I turn the... Um, I turn the, like, flashlight on and then I, like, hold it at an angle. Yeah, and try to look for like yeah. a little glint of light. Yeah, I got so mad the one day when I couldn't find one, I just ran the vacuum. <laughs> it's like screw it. They that called. I was like, I was like, I just don't want the cat to try to eat it. Yeah, they called him a DJ from up country. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like day day, day day. I think we're good. Let me just double check. Screwdrivers. Okay. Hopefully this is right. If it's not, I'm going to be sad. Uh, kind of wish I'd gotten a second <clears throat> Saturn bottom. I was thinking of sticker bo bombing a thermos, but on the bottom of a board would be better. Ooh, that would look really cool. I love whenever people sticker bomb their keywords and stuff. It always looks really cool. I was thinking Wait, about you... doing that, but I don't know what board I would do it to. Maybe an Were acrylic you able board. to buy multiple bottoms with this board? Yeah, you could buy like the top and bottom separately Interesting. as like add-ons. But yeah, um, but yeah, you could buy the top and bottom individually too for just like a single kit. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, there was a lot of customization options, which was really good. Oh yeah, keyboard people, uh, like vendors and stuff, love giving away stickers. So like, I have a million stickers as well. Same. And a lot of the artisans give you stickers too. Yeah. You could specifically buy a separate top only, not the bottom. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get this board. Winnie, she's back. She's not mad anymore. So the board box, something interesting I just noticed is that the escape key switches north facing or it's whatever the opposite is of normal. South facing? There's some BDZ got on here. What an interesting cutout on the bottom of that board on the plate. Oh yeah, right? I think because there's just so many bottom row options, they just had to like leave it open. Yeah, I'm gonna do one use through the middle columns. Um, that way I can just have more options, I think. And plus two, I can do artisan section. Because <laughs> let's be real, that's why I make keyboards is to put artisans on them. <laughs> it's 
maxed out by the end. You need all the space you can when you win as many raffles as you do, L. I am blessed and cursed. <laughs> uh, Lately, though, I haven't been entering too many. I feel like I was trying to kind of cut down on my spending, so. <laughs> it does get expensive fast. <laughs> That was the worst part when you're like, sweet, I won five, and then you see the bill and you're like, like oh. Uh, why? It's like I'm eating ramen for the month. <laughs> Let me get. Where's my custom? I love to call this my like custom keycap holder, but it's. <laughs> I just literally stuck stickers on it. <laughs> Speaking of cursed wallet, I designed an emoji for the entirety of the keyboard community. Ooh, share. It's just a it's burning just a wall. Burning wall. <laughs> That's great. It's beautiful. <laughs> also, I love these storage boxes because they're like something like special in like the keyboard hobby but they've existed in like the fishing hobby for like decades oh yeah i'll message it yes send it to me also the burning wallet just reminds me of the wallet burner isn't that the dude's name from a 40 server <sighs> yeah wallet oh, burner industry it's so <laughs> cute wait uh how can i open this it looks like this. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, we, we can only see half of it. There, it fixes it. Oh my lord. <laughs> so it reminds me of like though. a dumpster chair. <laughs> like a, a trash can or something. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm proud of you. Yeah, th these are basically like craft trays or tackle box stuff, right? I hope to do something with the design soon after my moon face artisan. Yes! Yeah. Dude, the moon face artisan. Is, that's the one that goes with this board, right? The, the Saturn looking one. Looks like one of the components for a Minecraft recipe. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I definitely want to get at least one of those. Possibly both of them. <laughs> and I don't usually go for those kind of like machined like artisans, but I really like that one. It's so cute. <laughs> Let me see if I, I can pull up a picture. If anybody doesn't know what we're talking about. There's a, uh, there's an artisan, but he's going to be running. Where is it? Oh, I think it's in the self-promote channel. It's this one. Let me pull up the picture. <laughs> it's so cute. It looks like this. <laughs> Oops, what'd I do? Oh, I moved the wrong thing. I look like this. <laughs> I love it. its little face. is so cute. <laughs> yeah, Sarah has been making some cool stuff. I know they did the. Um... Oh yeah, feel free to link your um, your Google form in chat. Um, I know Asaro did the um, EPBT aesthetic one. I generally don't buy those kind of artisans. Just because, like, I don't know. They don't... I'm looking for, like, little cuties. And I think that's why I like this one. <laughs> because it's a little cutie, but it's metal. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, hey, Mixon Dick. Girl, what you doing? How are you doing? That's My the bad. real question. Also, oh, thank you for subscribing. Four months in a row? Dang. You fancy. He's halfway to a stream, maybe. Yeah. Waiting on my Saturn 60. Yeah. I got mine in on Thursday last week. So, I wanted to make sure I had everything ready to build it. So, I didn't, um, I didn't have switches ready. But I'm excited to try out this layout. Wow, Opsic Panda Day. <laughs> Thank you, Panda, for subscribing four months in a row. Wow, you guys got tweens. <laughs> Still waiting on my all black Q4Ts. Oh yeah, I think mine should get here on Wednesday. I'm oh, gonna... What are, uh -huh. what are the pink switches in the middle of your box? Uh, These are Okamochis. These are some leftovers from my discipline build. They're from Monoke. They did the Pinoco switches too. Oh. Okay. They're like little pink ones. I got a shipping notification. Yeah, I, I got my shipping notification already, but um Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean 3D Keeps is my sponsor, so I'm sure she hooked it up. <laughs> Because Davis is the homie. Oh, also, let me put... I f always forget to put the um, the, the shell in the chat. <laughs> Got my keymaker in. Sally didn't get what I wanted. Oh, which one did you get? For sure you could trade that mess. They're easy to trade. The snake... Oh, the noodle! Dude, okay, the noodle is a good one for trades. You can definitely get a... Your um, thing. Wow, Rude taking care of your sponsored content creator. Rude. New new um, dramas for Mex on Deck tomorrow. Davis gives preferential treatment to Keep Boob Pro Streamer. That's my full legal name. <laughs> Noodle is a cute one. I didn't like it at first, but I it it's um. It's won me over. I have a couple of them. The one I don't really like is the Spooter. Because I don't like spiders. Okay. Yeah, um. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize that the boardwalk, like, design. This is always not going to be. 1.25 or 1.5. There's number one U. Loki top yellows. Pog. Yep. I feel like milky yellows are kind of my go-to. Like, they're like my switch that if I don't know what I want to do, this is a solid choice. Not expensive. Easy. Just got in some hippos. Oh, nice. I, those are kind of heavy, right? They're, I saw pictures of them. Sixty-three point five. Oh, okay. Maybe I was thinking of a different switch. I saw one this morning that was like Kinetic Lab was running. It was it like salmon switches or something like that? Does anyone ever see the feces of tarantulas? Ew! I don't know if I could handle that. Davis has the tarantula. Mm -hmm. She's gonna put it on Joey's face. <laughs> oh, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> Joey's like, no! Never! <laughs> has anyone ever seen the feetsies? Oh, I saw that. Uh, gonna be soldering up in your Space 65. Oh, nice. I know you said that board sounded like Doki, right? It's cute, though. She cute. I feel like the board that reminds me of that is like the thermal. I love the look of the thermal, but I've heard that for, like all the sound tests I listen to are not good. 
or it took a lot to like get it to sound good but i really love the design so it makes me mad this plate is like crazy shiny you can kind of see it but it's like sparkling like a diamond i'm so really it's a zinc, yeah zinc coated? yeah it's a zinc coated um plate so i think it's gonna be popping in the black case you can see the color change really good on the one side yeah on this right side now. it's pretty wild looks almost like bismuth yeah thinking of using a silent stem on the spacebar switch too oh interesting i just needed to not sound like dodo <laughs> It's, it's so rough. <laughs> oh, I bent the pin. Too powerful. I just yeeted a whole bottle of IPA. What the heck? <laughs> Dank lamb's getting turned. Oh, I opened the switch on accident. I oh, broke Lord. the switch on accident. <laughs> Why am I so powerful? <laughs> L1 Super Saiyan. And Apparently. Now how do I get it out of the plate? Frick. I'm trying to push it out from the back. I'm too powerful, you guys. Look <laughs> at <laughs> The legs are like all jacked. Hold on. What did this poor switch ever do to you? It looked at me wrong. I'm gonna have to like pull it from the corners or something. Get out of there! Okay, where's the spring boat? <laughs> oh, I found it. How dare you switch? I spent so much time moving you last night. You gotta do me dirty like that. You had extras, right? <laughs> Her cute Ellie's. <laughs> Yeah, I do have some extras, so we're fine, but this was very rude of you, Gat Yellow. I'm disappointed in you. How dare you? <laughs> I know, right? Glad Gat Yellow is so she. <laughs> yeah, if that was a Zyko, you just yeeted like four dollars. I know. <laughs> Dude, I broke, I think, four Zykos when I was building that crap. The... Nobody was worse than Eric, I... Oh, I felt bad when he was trying to desolder yeah, that, that board. That issues with those tops, and he he wrecked well, like he broke, twenty he, of them. He, well, and he had already broke like twenty. He had already yeah, that was sad. Board. He had basically replaced like almost a whole board worth of Zygos. <clears throat> Luckily, those Neapolitan switches are coming though, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully that'll be a good, good substitution. Cause I also felt bad about all the like extra parts from Zyko's like Yeah, you have so much so left over. This so is the leftover stems, tops, springs and bottoms. And then I also have the leftover housings and springs from the Halo switches. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna use the um the Zeal stems in, in the tarot switches, I think. I'm gonna try to do that. Mm. Just so I'm like well, reusing something, but yeah. Well, it's even less worth it now too. Now that Zeal did a ten percent oh, yeah. price increase on every switch. I know, like, right? It's I don't know why you, why you would ever buy Zeals at this point. Um, Fe thirty nine says this mounting looks wacky. So, yeah. So this board, the way it was designed, because it's a bent steel case. Is it steel or aluminum? I don't remember. Um, but you mount it on the bottom of the case so these pieces screw into the case here so the slant comes from the plate itself which is interesting i hate how wasteful psychos are yeah same but um if there's like a all-in-one switch then that'll be nice I think too because it's a lighter spring than the typical Zyko. Zyko's are usually 78 grams or higher um i think i'll like it more because when i maybe too i was typing on it during the b movie typing test and i think that probably <laughs> that probably it didn't broke help. it broke my fingers basically <laughs> 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 i 
<laughs> You're doing like six hours straight yeah. typing. <laughs> it broke my fingers. Look at that! We got ortho, baby! <laughs> Dude, I had one ex two extras. <laughs> Blessed. Don't jinx yourself, you still gotta solder it. Shh! Shh! <laughs> the board's done now, right? <laughs> Rubber duggies! What's up, Brit? Welcome to baby stream. I need to plug the scarf in. What am I doing? Okay. Just had to hunt down my mail from Panda. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have uh, me and Rubber Duckies both got the Panda 41 from OPSEC Panda. I don't know if you guys know him. He's a homie. It was in someone else's mailbox. Oh, no. No good. <laughs> Well, I received mine the other day, but I'll be building it on, um, on Friday. So if you want to see that, it's kind of like a little Rivian little guy. Okay, let's get our solder out. Okay, I need your guys' opinion because I have been, like, had one eye like this on the American Haptic soldering mat. But that mess is expensive. It's like $65 or something. So let me know if you think uh, I should get it. And be bougie. Little treat yourself. Or if you think it's a bad idea. You just let me know. And it's a soldering mat? Yeah, it's like a big old silicone soldering mat. It's like literally this tall. It'll probably cover my whole screen. It's huge. But, it's expensive though. Yeah, it's expensive probably because it's US made. The point is to keep my desk mat from getting jacked up. And yeah, keep... I, I just have a. Oh, I wonder if he has some. Hold on, give me a sec. No and way. also to keep the um, solder crusties inside of there rather than floating around in my room. Let me get my fan. I am going to be ordering, though, a solder fume extractor. Um, I'm just debating which one. I think we might go full bouge for the... Um, the... What the freak is this thing called? The Hacko one? Oh. Move this back a little. See, so rather than getting a expensive silicone mat sometimes zap cables puts like uh he calls them shit stock they're like desk mats that are messed up on a site mm. and he sells them for like a dollar oh for sure, sure that. so I, I bought one of those that's a good idea uh, um yeah i just i just was feeling bougie that's a lot of solder. Well, this is really thin soldering wire. If we use thick boy solder, it would be like not that much. IPA has been recovered. Because <laughs> this one, my norm, more, the thin one I use, I think is 0. 0.5 millimeters. This is the one I call thick boy solder. This one is 1.5 millimeters. <laughs> so this one, like... Thick boy solder. Yeah, this one, I use this for the barley corn race. Oh, you're talking about isopropyl? <laughs> I thought you were, like, day drinking. So that one, one and done, baby. One and done. <laughs> Heard it here, dank lamb, drinking isopropyl alcohol. <laughs> Is dank West Coast? Yeah, I think she's 
west coast. Pretty sure. You Pacific party time people. <laughs> Over here, work's already done. It's a totally acceptable drinking hour. <laughs> I think I'm going to go back to using baby solder because I like it gives me more control. West is best. Heck yeah, West Coast, Best Coast, baby. That being said, West Coast is a lot of variation. <laughs> and it's expensive. Yeah, because we're coastal elites, bro. And you got the chance of an earthquake murdering everyone. <laughs> hey, the, every time one happens, then you go, but did you die? It, we have earthquakes all the freaking time. Remember we were like playing Among Us and there was an earthquake? <laughs> yes, I do remember that. You were way too casual about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta kind of like wait. Because you, you don't know how bad it is for like a second. Yeah. So you gotta just kind of like wait and see. But yeah, we were like in a voice chat and then I'm like, uh, because I felt my butt moving. And I was like, what? And I look back and my stuff on my wall was like shaking. And I was like, I think uh, there's an earthquake. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Still remember when East Coast went crazy over a 4.3. The biggest earthquake that like, I like woke me up, cause I sleep through them all the time. The biggest one was in, I was living in Hawaii and there was a pretty large one off the coast of, um, off the coast of the big island. And that one was honestly bigger feeling than any of the ones I've felt here. Cause my bed was shaking and it was slamming into the wall <laughs> and it knocked out the power grid for like a day. So we were all just like chilling in the dark for a while. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the big thing Hawaii has to watch out for is um, tsunamis, though. Because since they're like central, they're basically smack dab in the middle of the Pacific, like equidistant from different land masses. So, like, if an earthquake happens here, it could travel and build up a tsunami across all of that water so like if there's ever like earthquakes in like alaska or like uh, japan hawaii gets put on tsunami warning hmm. um i think i've only lived through two that were big enough to feel when i slipped through the other one, i was a small toddler yeah same i think the northridge quake i was like a little kid oh hey Africa daniel girl what up we soldering man Um, which island do I live on? I lived in on Oahu in Kaneohe. I lived like Kaneohe Kahalu for like six years. I have a lot of um, cousins there, like aunties and uncles. So I, we would go visit every once in a while growing up, and then I went to college there. I had a big scare when I lived there, earthquake in Alaska through a tsunami. Yeah, that's, I think, I remember when the March 11th Japan earthquake hit, there was a tsunami warning. It did affect Hawaii. There was like bigger waves, but it wasn't as bad as they were expecting, which was good. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. You have to like just sit there and wait for it. Um, yeah, where, do you, where do you even go? You just go up like to higher ground. Mm. So up to the mountains. Luckily, I had a friend who lived like 
up in Kalihi, which is a little higher elevation, so we just were chilling in his house. Gotcha. And also, depending on what side of the island you're on, because like certain sides could get hit and the other side will be fine. Oh, so you just kind of shuffle around. Yeah. Uh, grab your keyboards and major electronics. <laughs> Uh, Abercrombie, yes, we are streaming early today because I have the day off so I can do what I want. I figured this build will take a while, so I wanted to, um, get started early. And then also, uh, later tonight, me and Dita are going to be working on some keyboard kidding or keycap kidding. So I think that'll be really informative for me. <laughs> But also, if anybody who's in my Discord wants to hop in chat or a voice call, just feel free or let me know and I can pull you in. We got you, girl. Because, <laughs> yeah, just chilling. Yeah, I gotta head out. I gotta go make some dinner. Yeah. Have fun. Thank you. It's funny because I'm used to like when I make keyboards like doing all the diodes and doing all the components so it's funny kind of just only doing switches. <laughs> I know this one is itching today. I don't know if I took my allergy medicine. No! Might come hang in for shelter. Oh, okay yeah just let me know if you need me to pull you in. I will be here hanging. Also, depending on what time I finish, we can play a little Slay Picks. <laughs> I feel like I finally understand like the basics of Apex Legends. So it's becoming more fun because I can actually like shoot people in the game rather than just running around and like dying immediately danny says that's how i felt building my alice i know right it's so weird like building boards with like pre-soldered diodes and the microcontrollers on there already I'm getting really good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying. I think part of it is like I'm not, I don't get as startled when I see bad guys before because I'd be like scared and running around. The AI is learning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I started playing Horizon Zero Dawn this weekend, four years late, whatever. Oh, I was gonna, I think I asked you, um, how do you like that game? Because I remember seeing it like when it was, um, when it was getting when it was like first released and it looks super cool there's like weird dinosaurs and stuff in that right i got a bent pin y'all let's see if i eat it out or if it'll come out nicely <laughs> I didn't destroy it. <laughs> Love that game. Well worth it. Is it? What? Is, what console is that on? Like, uh, like PlayStation? Thank you, thank you, Void D Dave. <laughs> it's filling that void from like Witcher and Assassin's Creed. Oh, nice. I um, I have The Witcher Three, I think, for the Switch, but. I didn't really play it for too long. I watched the Netflix show though. Kind of a cool concept. 
Yeah, I just remember seeing it. There was like that girl, and she runs around and like there's big dinosaurs or something. Playing it on PS4? Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I, I definitely want to play that sometime. I don't have a PlayStation, though. I've been um, doing a lot of PC gaming lately. Although, I did start playing um, Mario Sunshine. I got it as part of the like 3D All-Stars game. Um, so, I started playing that last night. It's been a while since I like played Switch games that night. Just got a 3080. I don't know what to do with myself. Wow. How'd you get it? I have a 3070 my coworker sold me because he found a 3090. Oh, hey, G lad. You know, we're just still big old nerds for keyboards. The huge. Got lucky at Micro Center. Oh, dang. Okay. I've been debating whether or not to like go to go to the Micro Center location that's near me. Cause I don't, I don't need a 3070 or 3080. I want either like a 3060 or a 2000 series. Cause my sister wants to build a PC, but she, she's not like super big into gaming. She just needs a graphics card. <laughs> the exact one I was looking for. The Asus ROG in white. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have the Aorus 3070. I don't know what the... There's like a version. Get her a 10 or 16 series then. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if, as long as she can play like simple games, then she should be fine. It's not like she has like a crazy monitor or anything. Because right now she's been playing games on her MacBook, <laughs> which is a struggle. <laughs> I have 10 70s and they're still solid. She'll be able to play Among Us in the 14 days games. Yeah, I think that's probably like what she wants to play is like Among Us. I think she also likes the idea of RGBs in her computer. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the 3060 for the price is probably like the best one I'm looking at. But I could do it with anything else. I used to have a 2070 before I got the 3070, but I sold it to Davis. It was awesome. It was like once I got the um once I got mine, I she was like, I'm looking for a graphics card and I was like, Girl, I got you <laughs> Gotta get her a glass panel case then? Okay, I'll have to Yeah, we're still deciding everything. I think she also likes the idea of like a small form factor, but I don't know too much about building those. Cause this is smaller, right? It needs like better cooling. So would you go with like, I think they're called like a AIO. This one has a mint thing. Okay, only a little power, not too much power. We did it. <laughs> All in one AIO. Yeah, that. Those are the ones where it's like. Are those liquid cooled? They're just like, but you don't run your own pipes. I've been learning a lot of things about computers lately. It's very interesting. Oh, okay, it is liquid cooled. Okay, yeah, because I, I remember seeing it's like connected to the fans directly and then you, you put the whole thing in there which I thought was interesting. There we go. 
I have a small form factor with an AIO under me right now. It's connected to the radiator, which the fans are screwed onto. Oh. Huh. I'm learning so many things lately. It's the best. I think that's one thing I like about the keyboard hobby is it's kind of like you can learn as much as you want to, right? Like there's always a next, a way to take it to the next level of nerdness. Since a pick of my build and it's got your silly stream in the pick. <laughs> this stream? Silly? What? <laughs> oh dang, your computer looks cool. Wait, hold on. How can I... Dude, your thing is too high quality. Your picture. It's like heck, super zoomed in <laughs> on my computer. How do I zoom out? Okay, here we go, here we go. I know how to zoom out. <laughs> uh, here we go. You can see the top of my head. And then what really matters, this beautiful PC. This is cool. Look at all of your rams. Dude, that graphics card looks sick. I like that she oriented it like this direction. Like vertically. That's cool. Got fans on the top. Got fans over here, fans over there, fans everywhere. It's beautiful. I'm proud of you. Yeah, my I should take a picture of my computer sometime. She basic, but she works. Okay. I've got the parts for it and everything. Just gotta remake them. Oh, for the cables? Yeah. I think I did a pretty good job on mine for like a first try. Um, I did one PCIe cable and it's perfect. Yes. I forget what the cable was, but there was a cable from on mine that I had to like route behind the graphics card. That was a pain in the butt, but it worked out. Then my music style. What do we need? Oh, there you go. And remember kids, positive pressure in the case only keeps the dust down. I don't know what that means. But I believe you. <laughs> Is that the like way that the air flows through or something? It's the amount of air coming in versus being fanned out. Oh, okay. So you want more coming into the case or more going out of the case? More in than out. Okay.
like four fans on intake and two on exhaust is better than the inverse. Oh, okay. Huh. I never thought about that. I think mine has two coming in and two going out maybe. But the two coming in are really big. I have to look more into this. <laughs> they all came with the case though, so we can blame the case manufacturer. Four o'clock. Yeah, I might get done sooner than I thought then. So we can take a dinner break. What? now why I don't stream during the daytime <laughs> it's because my mom teaches piano lessons over zoom <laughs> yeah like I'm pretty sure you guys can hear that hold on I need to go close my door uno momento Piano ambience. I should just turn off my music. You guys can listen to piano music. <laughs> Have free music and I close the door. I'm sorry. Jeez, I didn't know you guys like piano that much. Yeah, she teaches a couple of Zoom kids still because because of the Rona, a lot of her students stopped. And I was like, bro, why don't you just do it over like FaceTime or Zoom or something? She was like, what? I'm like, there you go. Double check, we got everything. Oh, there's one right here. You think all these kids have pianos out? <laughs> I think, uh, I think most of our students have like a keyboard at home so they can practice, but I think a lot of the parents didn't want to deal with like another online virtual thing. Which I don't blame them. 
<coughs> All right. I think we are done with these. <gasps> I've made a mistake. Oh, wait. No, I haven't. We're good. We're good. So, something I just remembered was the Titan 60. Let me pull up the PC. The Titan 60 has um, pinouts on each side to support the RGB strips that are available. Because the RGB strips will shine through the side of the board. If you can imagine, this is the case. The RGB strips sit like right here and shine out of the case. The Boardwalk PCB doesn't have the same thing, so, um, which is fine. But when I built it the second time, um, with this PCB, you can see the pinouts are here and on here and you just connect the wires to those. I think they're labeled on the back with like which pin is what. So I used it before with, um, the Space Trash 60 it worked good. So yeah, but no RGBs today, y'all. Sorry. I mean, we can kind of get a little bit from the underglow LEDs, but it's not going to shine through the case very well. That saves me some soldering though. Heck yeah. Okay, let's test the PCB and make sure she's still working. Look, come back. My cable is all tangled. <clears throat> I really want to make a mechanical keyboard with seven U and ten U space bars everywhere. <laughs> I'm here for that. <laughs> I forget who it was. They made a, a board kind of like that that used all space bars, but I don't think they were ten U's. Uh, let's pull up our via. Whoops. Uh, let's test these. Up oh, when he's trying to break in. Hold on, girl. Right now, I got solder hands. Come here. Here. Come here. I know. Baby. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Let me wash my hands then. Hold on. I'll be right back. Because um, then I can pick her up. Okay, hold on. Winnie is here. You can lay down there if you want, but there's also a pillow here for you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna test the matrix. Is it music time? I don't think I'll do music on this one. <laughs> Say hi, everybody.
<laughs> play for us, queen. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me pull up the uh, sound. Oh, how did I open Microsoft Office? She's a cutie. She's a little baby. Oh, Windows key. You're welcome. That's my new album, everybody. <laughs> okay, yeah, this one wasn't gonna show up because the the thing. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Thanks for showing me that. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, PCB is working. Now we can assemble the case. Winnie, what's she doing, bro? <laughs> She's giving me the eye. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we'll start with the bottom half. I'm not entirely sure how to assemble this, but let me pull up the docs. Oh, here, Saturn 60. Which plate in PCB? Uh, install plate assembly in bottom case. Place the bottom gasket on the bottom case. Take the finished assembly and place it on the bottom gasket. Leave the screws. Wait. What? Is there another piece of I need to be looking at? Okay. So this is the top half. Let me look at my bag of parts. Oh, what'd I do? Oh, we're good. <laughs> I mean, like, okay. So, we have a handle. The LED strips I won't be using today. But, we will need this cable. <clears throat> Decorations and the skirt. Okay. Oh, there's there's like a bag of like what are these called? Washers. What? Oh, I guess, uh, what is the gasket? Oh, okay, I understand now. So, there's a couple pieces. There's, like, these two, um, squishy pieces, I think are, okay, so this middle bit Shoot, gotta go to Micro Center. Oh, okay, well, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, we will see you later. So this piece, I think, goes on the bottom. There's also a another, like, plastic rubber bit on the bottom. So I believe this goes on the very bottom. So this sits underneath the plate and PCB. And there's holes on the side that you screw the um, the plate onto to attach it to the case. 
Uh, let's see. Washer is only recommended for screws on the bottom of the case. Okay. I believe too that you screw it in from the bottom because there's like there's threaded um, thingies in the plate. So we will try that. See what happens. And three. Okay, that. Hmm. These screws, okay. I think saw the plate assembly. Make sure the bottom gas is laying flat. I don't think he finished the documentation, so we're just gonna try figure it out. <laughs> I know there was like an exploded layout on the website, so maybe I can get some clues from that. But Oh, you know, it's on my interest chart. Hold on. 60. Okay. Okay. Let me pull up that view. Okay, right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm thinking we're working on. So basically there's screws that go through the bottom of the case into the plate. This little piece, this top gasket will sit on top of the plate like this or something, probably like this. And then we'll put the top half on top of that. So let's um, continue with screwing the plate into the bottom. I'm curious too, cause I did upgrade to like all black hardware. And I'm wondering if it's in place of using the silver hardware. We'll try it and see what happens. <laughs> Cause I got the anodized black stuff. Cause you, we bougie. Uh, let me try this. Yeah, this case is wild. It's pretty. It's it's pretty interesting too, though. But I mean, cost wise, it was pretty low, inexpensive compared to other boards. And I thought it was interesting to use the bent steel. Um, I don't know if it's aluminum or steel. Was an interesting choice but she hefty so how do I want to do this so yeah you can kind of see like the plate through the holes in the bottom I'm so curious to see how this board sounds I know right actually you know what? let me get the um, washer set up too I'll just get those ready now so I'm not struggle busing midway through. Because it did come with washers for the bottom. crap again this like um matte thing on the bottom though is really nice it's like hefty oh you know what too 
I think the badge screws into the bottom of the case. So maybe we should do that first, actually. So much space, I wonder if it'll sound hollow or not. Yeah, um, I'm curious too. I think the amount of foam that's in here though is like quite a bit. So I don't think it will be too hollow sounding. Like I've never seen this much like and thick foam too. three nuts for the ace okay yeah that's these okay i know what i'm doing hey Marcus. um we got switches are installed so we got these um yeah i'm having fun so we're working on the bottom the bottom half of the case right now so um i just gonna put the plate on we got my serial number 0143. <laughs> so cute. So if you know what that means, uh, then you're cool and probably a boomer. <laughs> Do you screw the foam or the um the back plate through the this, this like foam stuff too it's like a weird it's like a mat through the rubber okay cool such a cool idea there we go get this on it's a massive sound dampener and softens the plate a bit yeah it's really cool I've never seen anything like it innovation baby <laughs> So I'm just putting the screws through the back side of the case, then through the rubber piece, like aligning that, and then putting a nut on top. It smells like a new pair of shoes. It does, it does smell like new shoes. So this is just securing the, the back plate onto the bottom half of the case. So we can be cute. But yeah, this bit, you definitely do this first before you do the plate. So just be aware. How does it feel though, Burgess, seeing your baby in other people's hands now? We're starting to see pictures of people getting their Saturns, which is cool. I have no finger dexterity. <laughs> You want to make sure the bottom gasket sheet's aligned too when you screw down the lower badge. Oh, okay, yeah, the this um rubber sheet thing. Yeah, I'm kind of just loosely tightening it for now. And once I get all four in, then I'll tighten them down. I'm having a hard time with this uh, nut though, but I think it's a me issue. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I love that one. Kind of weird, but definitely awesome. <laughs> yeah. When did the group buy originally run? I kind of remember. I could look it up, but I'm like... Because then, uh, even though there were delays, I still feel like it wasn't that long. Ran late October. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad. Just want to make sure these are all lined up with the cutouts in the case. I know there's been people asking about extras. But I don't think there's a ton of them. It's pretty cool though that these were manufactured here. It's not the world's simplest keyboard build, but just take your time. Yeah, that's why I started real early today because I wanted to just chill. So we got our back plate in place. Look at that. She cute. The finish on this board too is really nice. What is this called? Like powder coating you said? Okay. So next is the plate. <clears throat> With this gasket thingy. I believe. Powder coating, they call this fine texture. Oh, cool. Yeah, it came out really nice. She's smooth. Do you think I should put the handle on? Or is the handle attached to the top half? I think the handle's on the top half. Because I think it sits in these grooves. The foam for underneath is optional but does help. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably use the foam. I might as well use it because it's here. Handle goes on the top half. Cool. Okay. Let me get some screws. I'm just going to loosely tighten these screws into the plate so I can get the rest of them together. For the screws on the bottom, I want to use washers. Okay, let me grab those.
I'm assuming the washers just help like distribute the pressure and prevent scratching. hand threading these in and we'll come back and tighten it after we straighten it out yeah because the holes are slotted on the bottom it helps get a good contact maybe it's over engineered bruh better over engineered than under engineered right So for the front holes, I noticed I kind of have to push the plate down a little bit, just to compress the foam a little bit when I'm putting the screws in. But that's only for the front two holes. Wait, did I do this backwards? No, we're good. <laughs> Dude, this board is freaking heavy. You actually want to keep the plate screws loose until you do final alignment when the top half is off. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. I feel like it's generally a good rule to just like keep the screws loose until you for sure know they're in the right place. Then push it down. You can shift the foam toward the back a little to help with the need for squeeze. <laughs> the need for squeeze. <laughs> Is that the new, um, that's the new movie? It's the, it's the new Fast and Furious Need for Squeeze. <laughs> uh, I think it's fine. I think I like where it's sitting. So plate is in place for now. We might move it around a little bit when we align it with the top bit. But she cute, look at that. Sounds like the X-rated ripoff version. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, that's too much. Okay, let me get the top half. So I think I'm gonna screw the, um, the USB connector in first. I'm happy there's a pretty good amount of side glow light even without the RGB strips. Oh, sick. Yeah, I noticed that with the boardwalk. I forgot that it doesn't have the side strip, um, the pinout, <coughs> which I totally forgot about. <laughs> okay, so this little friend goes on top of here I believe. We'll flip it over. Do you think it's easiest to put this in the top of the case or and then lower it down? I don't know. Anyways I'm gonna uh, do the handle and the cable. Okay. So this would be Yeah. This way. Because then when I open it, it'll go like that. This is sick. Do I need washers for this too? 
or it's true. I'm guessing no, because I think I have. Oh no, I have two washers left. Or this will go probably for the back of the this bit. No washers, only screws on the bottom. Okay. Looking for need to get kiddo back to bed soon. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll be on later tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna take a break or not, but I'll be on later tonight with Dee Dee. So, cause this is fun week. We get to do whatever the heck we want. So I'm just screwing in the USB port right now. There's an extender cable. Which is pretty sick. So, looks like this. So we have the USB-C connector. Just putting these screws in. Grinding for my last finals till I graduate. Oh, nice! Yeah, semester's pretty much done for a lot of schools right now. So, looks like that. And then when we plug the PCB in, this will just go in like that. Okay, handle time. I can help you with my workload. I'll drive. To at least pick up my son. <laughs> Joke's on us, Lala, because he moved. <gasps> you guys, I didn't realize the f handle folds down. Dude, that's sick. Oh, hey, Davis girl. What you doing? Which way do I want the handle to flip down? Do I want the handle to flip down? Yeah, flip down. Because if it flips the other direction, you'd see it on the top. Oh! Davis. Oh yeah, if anybody wants to hop in voice chat, feel free. Just let me know if you need to get dragged in. Just cut. <laughs> oh no. Your warehouse. Flip it up and make it a phone stand. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Ugh. Oh yeah, it's show time. Davis is here. <laughs> so if you didn't know, <laughs> Davis is my sponsor. <laughs> for my stream so if you need a little discount code you want to support my baby stream keep noob that's your code baby on 3dkeeps.com i did it <laughs> okay <laughs> janelle bean is here his ears are burning. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Best Fender. Hey! Yeah, Best Fender. I love supporting Davis because she's the homie. Ugh. Thank you, Jen Janelle Bean. I know you're here either lurking or in spirit. You're somewhere. <laughs> or in psychic energy because we have a psychic connection. <laughs> okay, let me pull this up. I just realized my light is like not even a thing. When is your vacation? Oh yeah, Davis is taking vacation soon, so the store is gonna be closed for a little bit. So get your orders in, people. Um, I don't know if I have a tool to 
tighten these, but they feel pretty tight. Oh, hey, Mary, what's up? How are you doing? David sent you candy with your desk mat? Nice. She's not going to send you the high chews that she likes, though. Those are on reserve. <laughs> Okay, so the last pieces of the puzzle is, do you think it's best, I think upside down is probably the best way from here. So putting the foam in. Um, Y'all are never seeing purple high shoe again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so let's plug in the, we're going to plug into the PCB. This cable is hefty, by the way, Dave, um, Burgess. This is really nice. I think I might need to go to the side. So I'm basically plugging in the right angle USB connector. Might be easier to do it this way, maybe. To the PCB. Ooh! My artisan babies. Okay. Did I push it? No. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm just too excited, Burgess. It's been a long time coming, this board. Or it feels like it just because I've been doing the codes. It honestly hasn't been that long. Okay, I got it connected. I keep pushing the foam around. I do this. It goes inside though. This looks like I have to eat everything. It does. This thing is thick. Saturn versus artisans. I know who wins. At least it didn't hit the burbs. The burbs are safe. The the um artisans for uh, aesthetic. I don't know though. I was just trying to be cute and have my little artisans showing, but they're in danger. <laughs> oh, hey, switch, switch, Tanya. How are you doing? Um, we are building the Saturn 60 today. I'm trying to figure out how to put it back together. Oh, does it not hook under the lip, Burgess? Cause there's like a lip here. Does the case sit on top of this or it hooks underneath of this? Just sitting on top? Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it had to hook under or not. That makes it easier. Gotta make sure that the cable stays in. I figure there's gonna be some shifting around once I flipped it over. Ooh, look at that! So, I think I need to bring the plate down slightly. She cute though. Look at that. Cause my guess is I gotta like get the case and plate to the point where it's not gonna interfere. Okay. Um I don't know if you have double sided tape, but it 
using it to keep foam frame in place makes it easier. I'm not that fancy. I have regular tape. <laughs> the foam seems to be fine though. It's more like I need to push my plate down a bit. But I think once I screw it in, it should be. Check. I, I think maybe I'll screw in the um, the top bit, and then I'll adjust the the switch plate. Ooh, interview like job interview. So yeah, I opted for the all black Saturn. We got black hardware, black handle, black case. I do have a black plate, but this one is the other plate that I ordered. I'm really curious to see how this sounds because a lot of people were like, especially haters were like, it's gonna sound so friggin' hollow. And I was like, bro, do you even know Burgess Latro? <laughs> Job interview? Cool! I had the feeling I aced the interview but I haven't heard from them since. You know what, sometimes the interview process takes a long freaking time. I know like when I had interviewed for this one job they didn't get back to me for like a month and I was like you guys are fake but yes I will accept your job <laughs> I need you to carry this in with the holding the handle heck yeah we're gonna use this handle I'm gonna show up to work like once we go back to work and be like hello haters <laughs> I'm here <laughs> with my Saturn 6C <laughs> handle is humble brag the best feature the handle is pretty lit i love it especially with covid too it's funny because they know that like prior to uh covid i had a mechanical keyboard at work but since that time to now uh, they don't know how deep i am in the hobby <laughs> can bike lock it to your desk. <laughs> I can bike lock it to my bike. I could strap it on the side of my bike and <laughs> ride it to work. bike log it to a co-worker <laughs> I trust uh, my co-worker Walter he can he can have the handcuff <laughs> the only thing I'm disappointed about this board is I was told that it would be delivered by a spaceman in a spacesuit and uh, the UPS man wasn't wearing no spacesuit okay so disappointed <laughs> it's okay because Burgess used to be really close to my house but uh he moved <laughs> it's okay though because he delivered donuts to my house multiple times so he's forgiven Dude, look at that! Dang it, Burgess! I'll do it later, I'm too lazy. Okay. Next steps, we need to align this plate. 
Do you think it's best to put, um, I was busy clipping. <laughs> See, distracted by memes. Should have been paying attention. This is definitely on you. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll I'll fix that later. But um, do you think I should put keycaps on first so I can check the alignment, or do you think I could do it without them, or maybe just do like top and bottom row or something? I need to look up the layout, by the way, because I don't remember. Mm. Use keycaps, check alignment. Okay, in the four corners. Sleek. Let me pull up the boardwalk layout. Okay. Um, so I have a large amount of DSA Astrolo keys caps. I'm not sure if I have all of the 1.5 U's, but we'll see. <laughs> If not, I have 1.25, so it's a little janky, but whatever, I don't care. Oh, here. This one? No, that's 1.75. Where did I come out with the... Oh, here's this one, is 1.5. <laughs> you guys are jinxing each other. Okay, let's pull up. I'm still in caps on my other board too. Vaccine approved for 12 to 15, so I just mad dash registered. Nice! That's exciting. Finally, frick. My favorite was they're like, kids can't get the virus. I'm like, you guys are idiots. <laughs> they're not very excited, Oh. Well, they will be excited when we can get out of the friggin' house. Okay, so I definitely it's tight on this top right side. I'm gonna just unscrew this a little bit. Uh oh. I think I unscrewed it too much. Same with this. Dude, it's gonna be so cute with the stroller keys, right? Okay, so which what do you think is the best way to push it down? Brute force? Aligning it with all the foams is the hardest part of the build. Okay. I think. Definitely getting movement. I think it's moving to where I need it to go. It's still a little close on the... Take this out. Is there something flat I have? Oh, here. <laughs> open this case. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Can I just make it look pretty and like not worry too much? <laughs> Loosen the plate screws and just try to wiggle it down. Okay. Yeah, I think they're pretty loose now, so 
Just gonna keep trying to push it down. It's not like super offensive, like touching the, the top half, but I think I might just need to pull the foam up a little somehow. can also pull the plate toward the front and then tighten the screws while it's being pulled. <gasps> That's a good idea. Okay. We're going to do the danger version. <laughs> oh, that totally worked. Okay. Yeah, that's the pro move. Yeah, that's the move. Okay. So what Burgess is saying is as you're pulling it down, then tighten the screw and then yeah, that 100% worked. Oh, hey, Bert. What's up, girl? What you doing? We're building a keyboard today. Yeah, I would highly recommend doing that. So the move I just did was while I'm pulling the plate downward with my left, like with my other hand, I screw in the, the screw in the back. But I think I need to align this better. Because it's not going in. This might also be that one screw I was having issues with. But we got an extra. Bert, this is my week of vacation. So we're streaming all day, every day. <laughs> Just kidding. Not every day, but I'll be doing more streams this week than usual. Oh, Burgess would deem Winnie makes an appearance. Okay, well, give me like a little bit and we can make that happen. So yeah, I'm just pulling. Basically, you want to loosen it so it's aligned, but then you pull down with the one hand and then screw it in as you're pulling it and it totally works. And now we no longer have alignment issues. Pro moves, Brit. Okay, let me get Winnie. Oh, she's sleeping. She's really sleeping. Hold on. <laughs> Where are you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me get your pillow. <laughs> She's like still sleeping. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna have to put it down because she's like literally knocked out. <laughs> Chad needs to leave this cat alone. Well, I think I can stream now with her on the pillow, but she's really tired. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> Huh, you're a sleepy baby. Here, I'll put you on this pillow, girl. You can put the keyboard together with me. Yeah, she's real sleepy. She likes to sit like this though, on the pillow. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> she's so cute. You will probably be able to see her footsies. I know, right? I'll do my best. We'll try not to scare Winnie. But I think it's worth it for the Pete's. Look at that. Get a little tootsie. Little tootsie. <laughs> okay, let's try this last screw. It's funny because when she's sitting on my lap like this, she likes to, um, she likes to put her paw on my hand. Like, especially the hand I'm using for my mouse. She's so funny. 
She's obsessed with me though. Why? I have no idea, but she likes me. There we go. Okay. I think we have everything in. And now it is the caps time. <laughs> She's reenacting the pottery scene from Ghost. <laughs> Yay <Yeah>, is. <laughs> Alright, look at that. Let's do a little zoom zoom. What's more important to you, seeing the board larger or these feats you're getting right now? Because look at that. <laughs> okay, let me find keycap. Feet picks. Okay, well, I need to uh, turn around a little bit. I have like two sets of Astrolo Keys alphas. <laughs> so. Bless by Winnie Paz. Aww. Feet pics. <laughs> Dude, she is like legit out. I want kind of want to angle my camera, but I don't want to mess with it because I know myself and I will mess this crap up. Okay, let me take a look at the layout real fast. Because I also have. This 1.5. I also have um, the the kit that's like the um, what do you call this? Like text mods. People don't typically use this kit because they were they're here for the stars, but I think I'll need it for um, for this board. I'm gonna grab this to you. So I got a couple of different options. I think this might be no, that's a little bigger. Basically, I'm gonna steal the caps from this board and put it on this board. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do it with one hand basically. <laughs> this is why this build doesn't take so long as Winnie's sitting on me. Well put the word out people that there's cat feats on my stream. <laughs> Cause let's be real, that's what you're really here for is Winnie. <laughs> So like, I'd use my channel points again, don't tell me. <laughs> no, these are fine. One thing I don't like about white keycaps is they seem to get dirty really fast. Especially like the DSA from Signature Plastics is a pretty, not intense, but it has texture. So it attracts dirt easily, I would say. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that. Oop, she kicking me.
I'm gonna leave the center uh, like extra keys alone for right now and then we'll come back and figure out what we're gonna do because it's a prime spot for artisans is all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think these are. I think this one's a 2U. Hello, girl. Hello. <laughs> Wait, we need to thank her, Winnie. Girl, thank you, Mint Latica, for subscribing to my stream. What's up? Also, thanks for joining my Discord randomly the other day. One of the best things ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am finishing up the Saturn 60 build right now. Um, Winnie is sitting on me. Big stretch. Say hi. <laughs> yeah, so she, they wanted to see her, but she was really sleepy. So, um, she's sleeping on a pillow on my lap right now. And we decided that the, uh, the Tootsies were worth it. <laughs> But yeah, hope you're having a good Monday. I took this week off um, for just to like have some time off, but also cause it's my birthday week. So we're gonna, I don't usually stream this early, but um, we'll have another, I'm debating if I'm gonna stop stream and start up again later. Um, cause uh, Dee Dee's gonna help me out with some kidding for this keycaps that I've been working on for a while, so gonna be fun yeah <laughs> birthday week baby normally for my birthday I go places like I usually go visit my siblings or something but um yeah since it's I'm just doing a little staycation my stuff arrived today so I'm tired moving it yeah I'm like you just move it's a lot of work on top of all the other stuff you're doing so but yeah, we're just chilling. Yeah, this year I was supposed to go to New Zealand, but Avi, the Earth had other plans. Cause um, we we're gonna go watch the Rugby World Cup, the Women's Rugby World Cup. There's like a dirt on my key. Gross. <laughs> when he keeps kicking me, cause she's like, she's like. You're moving too much, but then she's also like dead asleep. Honestly, I'm really excited to see Astrolo keys on this board because I think it's kind of on, on, uh, on theme, right? It's like space. But yeah, also there's like a center section here that I've decided should be artisan section. <laughs> it's tempting me to find the mods. Oh, for Astrolo keys? I think there was an Ergo kit. It's not in stock anymore, but supposedly it will be in stock later, I heard. I'm not too sure. I did get the like, um, there was like a non-standard icon kit that I did pick up that will work for some of this. Oh yeah, you could definitely mix it with Hana. Yeah, that would look cute. <laughs> Dude, Winnie is like really out. <laughs> I really wish I could move my camera a little bit so you guys can see her because she's like, her back legs are sprawled out. She's like sleeping in my arm. <laughs> huh, you little spoiled baby. I'm like one handed grabbing a keycap off of the other board. <laughs> Where'd 
There we go. It's been an extremely exhausting day of doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> She's working hard. Hardly working. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this week, since it's my birthday week and I have time off uh, Wednesday, I'll be streaming for... That'll be on my birthday, so I have some things extra planned. Uh, and then on Thursday, me and Emma are going to play our usual Sister Queen stream. Um, we're going to play something called uh, I Love You, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> it's a game I found <laughs> that I thought would be fun to play. And then on Friday, I'll be building the um, the Panda 41 keyboard. Yeah. I'm sorry. Let me see if... Where did my ruler go? Do you want to go on the bed? It would be helpful for me. But it's up to you. Oh, here. I'm going to put Winnie on the bed just because I need my hands. Here you go, bro. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the feetsies time. I hope it wasn't against Twitch Terms of Service for kitty cat feets. <laughs> and let me up this. I heard a complaint. No! I think it's like that. It's good. Okay. I hope you didn't, don't get fired for putting on the bed. I know, right? I've been her loyal servant for years. We'll see if she fires me or not. Okay, what we got? What we got? I think these might be too small. I thought I saw a yellow one, though. No, that's one point too big. Okay. Ah! Keep dropping crap. <laughs> I know, right? I'm, I'm liking it. I think Astrolo Keys is a good option for this board. Let me measure my keycap. Yep, 1.5. I think. No, it's 1.75. I have one more here. Yep. I think I have an this one too. The thing with like this layout is finding compatible caps, right? Because too many caps don't have enough 1.5s. <laughs> but I think I have enough somewhere. We'll find them. Even if it's janky. Left to walk the dogs and it's looking so good. Thank you. Yeah, we're getting there. Slowly. We had a little Winnie interruption. Excuse me, feature. <laughs> because she's the real star. <laughs> I'm just trying to find caps. I have a lot of Astrolo Keys caps. And I have zero regrets. We can also figure out what we want to do for the two you spaces. So I have these. There's also this bag of cats that I got from Burgess. It's a blessing and a curse though, less temptation to enter key cat group eyes. Yeah, that's true. You're kind of limited into like which cat group eyes you're going to grab. So these are all like rando caps from uh, Signature Plastics grab bag that Burgess hooked me up with. And I think we might just have enough. There we go. There'll be one that's like pink but in a random place. But other than that, I think we should be solid. 
Yeah, there wasn't a lot of um, Sangin layout compatibility with Astrolo keys. Um, you had to get the like non-standard kit for Sangin layout, which was kind of meh. But this was my first uh, group buy. So I also have two. I think this one's to you as well. Of these stars. So we could do that for space bar. And I think I might want to do some like icons in the middle. Gross. Let me, uh, I'm gonna just do like, is this bad? Just do like that. <laughs> it's double. <laughs> what do I have? How can we make this layout less cursed? Oh my gosh, these gat yellows want to come apart really easily. Because I'm trying to pull out this keycap and it's like trying to pull the switch apart. Yep. What the heck? Gat yellows, you did me wrong, bro. I'm also just too Hercules for this crap. I exploded a switch. This is number two, but this one is soldered. <laughs> How to film a switch that's already been soldered <sighs> with Kibnu. We can do this. <laughs> one of the switches just like popped open when I was trying to take the keycap off. Guy yellows are not uh, strong enough for my powers. <laughs> I feel like I've only had that issue with Gateron switches. Where the like top comes off. I guess we should just go for kind of like kind of symmetry. We'll just do like this. And then I only have one more pink. Do I have one more purple one? How big is this? No, it's too big. Oh, well, we'll, we'll just do the pink and then... Do you think typing speed goes up or down with ortho? I don't know. I've only used ortho with like DSA caps, so I would also be curious if like ortho with cherry versus DSA makes a difference. I'm gonna just do something. Maybe this could be the enter game. I changed my mind. Okay, please let it. <gasps> yes. No, do not break switch. See, it's trying to come up. Okay, we'll do like accent enter, right? This is intentional. <laughs> okay, we already got cat ears in here. Wait! Hey! We'll do our space bars, cuties, <clears throat> um, bottom row, I have yellow arrows, let's do that, accent enter, highly acceptable, okay, thank you, thank you so much. 
<laughs> I'm glad you approve. <laughs> uh, let's try. Oh, it's not plugged in. That's why. I can't remember what key goes where on this layout. So we'll try plugging her in. It works. You need two up keys above the space bars <gasps> for ears on the cat. Oh my gosh, you're so creative. Holy crap. Okay, we'll see how many artisans I got to that would look nice too. Because I do have at least one DSA artisan that will work. Um, let's figure out this. Okay, left. Up. Down. Or just a cat artisan. <laughs> Okay. We have a lot of artisans to choose from, so <laughs> we can make it work. <laughs> um, I do think I want to put the... I want this to be the function key. I think. Or we could put it up in here somewhere. Because um, what are the other keys? Because I do have rays... This is control, windows, alt, space. So maybe I'll do like, or actually let's move this somewhere else. And then we could do yellow on this side too. Because I do have, or actually this would be raise. We can do a space theme. I think I have some stars too that are yellow. Uh, this one goes in here. Almost done. Another planet. Things. Ooh, stars. Control or Windows. Oh, I looked at this already. I have a star. I also have like the zodiac symbols. We could just do like this. And then, okay, we do have the artisan center. <laughs> so I have this one I for sure want to use. I also have, uh, we got some Magic Girl related ones. Let me zoom zoom a little so you can take a look what you like. And... Okay, we got these guys. Um, who else we got? We got some. Definitely get you a Cerakoted yellow handle. <laughs> that would be sick. Or like purple or something. Purple would be cool because that would work with like other sets too. Okay. Now. 
artisan time. Let's look through the collection. Just trying to clean up a little bit. Okay. I don't think the bears will be good on this. What else we got? <clears throat> I want to pull out the ones I think would look good. This one. This one. This one. This one. Oh, um. destroyed my keyboard stand. <laughs> I have this one. <clears throat> we got this one. Let's see. Basically this whole macro pad. <laughs> um, oh, I have couple bird oh this might work or I have a couple purple burbs that might work let me know what you think Stella yeah I got one of the uh, the magic girl Stella's I don't put it on boards too often because I feel like I accidentally hit it a lot because it's a lot taller than like typical artisans but she cute though hmm this is always the part that takes me the longest is like picking out artisans <laughs> yeah she's so tall I just keep her on a macro pack I look because look how tall that artisan is but she cute Alright, I think we'll do purple here. Let me unplug just so I don't accidentally hit numbers. <laughs> I also have this one. Oh, you know what? There's a buttload of my artisans on that other board. Oh, okay, yeah. So, this one. The treasure, the purple treasure might be good. Okay, I'm a missile For sure, I think the kudzu is really freaking cute. I think these guys are a good choice. Something purple here. I think yellow at the top. Hmm, might be too yellow. Sultan of Sleep says, <laughs> Rubber Duckies, no, don't steal my artisans. I'm just soldering a PCB. Any advice on the best way to get rid of the flux before I resolder? Yes, so. Your best friend is going to be isopropyl alcohol, 91% or higher. Um, you can either use a toothbrush or I use a, just like a Q-tip. I'll soak it in it, rub it on there. It's not, it takes longer, but it doesn't splash as much as like the toothbrush does sometimes. But yeah, the isopropyl alcohol needs to be at least 91% because if it's too low, like the percentage, um, it's not going to remove it. Let's do that. Let's do top row pink friends. Oh, 
But yeah, I would, isopropyl alcohol is the way to get it off for sure. Yeah, I'm not here. I kind of like this one. Her Majesty Queen Stella can remain at the top. have an ambassador yeah maybe let's do artisan picking is always like takes me forever <laughs> but I love it <laughs> can go back on her throne. All right, let us zoom zooms out. And Pink Treasure looks perfect on top row. Thank you. I'm debating between I forgot I have this capsmith too between bear and this one but it might be a little too orangey maybe we could do some like treasure symmetries This one maybe could do a peek like that. Little friendo. I need to organize my artisan collection. It's kind of all over the place right now. I'm happy with that. She cute. Alright. Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna type on this. <laughs> it's interesting, like I kind of like that it's like more spaced out because other ortho boards, these rows, they would be next to each other. And then it would kind of like be um a little too close, I think, for my giant hands. <laughs> but I'm I I think I like the uh, I like that there's a center column plus artisan holder. Come on, <laughs> how could you not want artisan holder? <laughs> it's beautiful. All right, let me pull up monkey type. Well, it's already so weird. Okay, let me make this smaller. It's funny because I feel like I'm having flashbacks of like the B movie typing test. <laughs> that thing took forever. Okay, let's get that up here, make it a little smaller. Okay, let me um, pause my musica. And see if we can get my microphone a little closer. This is gonna be an interesting typing test because 
of how like skeptical people have been of the sound of this board. Sorry, I need to. My boom thing is annoying. So I'm curious to see how it sounds too. I have no idea. I haven't really clicky clacked it yet. All right, let me pull up this. Wait, <laughs> which one is backspace? <laughs> oh no, wait, hold on. Let me check my views first. <laughs> Botched. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, this one, this one's enter, yep. Yeah. This one's backspace, tab. Wait, right? Tab, 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 oh. Is it normally there? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm just being crazy. Maybe I'm just not used to reaching out that far. I don't know. So it's tab to restart. I'm gonna just refresh. This thing is wired. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, is this not space? What is happening? What is happening? Okay, something weird is happening. Let me try monkey type in like a new window. And switch. Sources. Maybe I, I have a feeling I messed up my monkey type the last time I used it because of the B movie typing test. Okay. That was rough. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, and get closer to me. It honestly is very muted. Super muted. Like, it almost sounds like, um, it almost sounds kind of like silence, which is, it's that muted. Like, let me. So this is the Jabberwocky with Gat Yellows and DSA Caps. So this is the Jabberwocky. This is the Saturn. Super deep. So this is like FR4 Sandwich. This is the Saturn. All those haters that said it was going to sound empty, they can shut their mouth because it don't. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, what I think I'm going to do, since we finished this beautiful keyboard, <laughs> I think I'm going to um, take a break uh, to go eat some dinner. 
And then I'll be back in like around 7, 7.30. Um, how do I like the layout? Uh, I still need to type on this layout. I like the fact that it's a wider ortho. Like it, they're not like butted up against one another. So it's almost kind of like split ortho. Um, I also like that these... Uh, mod keys are larger but I need to I need to like use this for like a week and see how I feel about it um but yeah, yeah. let's see what we doing um but yeah I'll be back uh, later tonight um Dee Dee's gonna help me work on um kidding for my keycap set that I've been working on for a while. So if you're interesting, uh, interested in learning about keyboard um, keycap kidding, I think that will be a good stream. Plus, you can see my crappy keycap set. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm going to go eat dinner and then I'll be back probably like 7, 7.30 depending on when Dee Dee's around. But let's raid somebody. Who do we want to raid? we want to raid Baby Stream? Because I love Baby Streams. Or what we want to do? You guys got any suggestions? Who's around? What they doing? Oh, somebody's building with discipline. Okay, let's go raid this person. Their name is Shade Dream. All right, so I hope you guys had a good time today. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I'll be back tonight in about an hour and a half <laughs> to work on my keycap set. Um, but I hope you guys had a good Monday. Uh, if you aren't going to be around tonight, I'll be back on Wednesday for my birthday stream. The tentative title is <laughs> Hot Tub Hot Swap keep stream 4k so let that in you can guess what that's about <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> um but i will catch you guys later thanks for being here i appreciate you <laughs> bye bye